a SIM card, a WWAN card, and a laptop that takes a SIM card. One or more, stay tuned. Roll the intro. <laughs> Hinim Tags, welcome back. This is Ash from Hinim My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie so you can unleash your true potential. If you want to skip ahead to the installation tutorial only, check the timestamps below so your precious time isn't wasted. But it would be cool if you would stay for the whole thing as a courtesy to myself. Thanks in advance. So this guy calls me up to help him install this SIM card in this laptop. Since it was the first time I even hear about a laptop with a SIM card, I said, sure, why not? Man, do I need to learn to say no pretty soon. The owner of this laptop is the director of a private rental company called Holmes Lettings Limited. No, this is not a sponsored video. On the contrary, I want to give them a shout out being a client and a friend. They cover all areas across London with a guaranteed advance payment of one year's full rent to landlords. Their website is currently under construction hopefully up and running by the time you watch this video. So give them some love, all details below in the description. Okay, back to the tutorial. So this Dell Latitude E5430 laptop features a Core i5-3340M at 2.70 gigahertz with a four gigabyte DDR3 RAM and 320 gigabyte hard disk drive. Initially, it was shipped with Windows 8 64-bit, but it was recently upgraded to Windows 10 64-bit. To properly use this SIM card as a mobile broadband service on this laptop, you need the following three things. One, a SIM card with mobile broadband service from the provider of your choice. Today, we're doing Vodafone. Two, you need a WWAN card i.e. a wide wireless access card, more on that later. And three, you need the necessary drivers and software for the WWAN card. Step one, first you need to install the SIM card and the slot for the SIM card is located behind the battery in this make and model. Your one may vary, so consult the manual. Make sure you turn off and disconnect the laptop from the mains. Also disconnect any telephone, network or USB cables from the computer. Turn over the laptop Remove the battery. Turn it back over. Press and hold the power button for at least 30 seconds to discharge any static electricity. Turn the laptop back over. Now look at the SIM card slot. In this case, it's here, right? oriented the SIM card the proper way. So the chip faces upwards and the slant goes in this way. Just push it in until it clicks into place. To remove it, just push it in again, and it will pop out. This SIM card is the original sized one, not the micro or nano version. If you have a micro or nano SIM card slot, you may need a SIM card adapter. Step two. We need to install the WWAN card. This is located behind the cover. Again, consult your manual for your make and model. There are two screws holding the back cover. One of them may be hidden underneath a sticker. So just use a small screwdriver and remove them. And then just pull out the back cover. This one here is the WLAN card i.e. the wireless local area network card for all your Wi-Fi connections. This slot here, this empty slot, is where the WWAN card that we bought needs to go. I bought this from eBay used for £10.95, so just under $14. When I got in touch with Dell, they wanted to sell me one for over £92, around $114. Ridiculous. I explained that it would be for a YouTube tutorial, but I guess since I'm a nobody, they didn't care. Shame on you, Dell. Also, they insisted that I buy theirs for compatibility and guaranteed to work. That's also not true. As long as you have the right part, it can be from a different manufacturer. The important thing is the part number, which is in this case, is VJNRG. So insert the card into the slot, it will only go in one way. Push it in. 
pull the cables out of the way and press down. You need to secure it with a small screw. You also need to connect these two antenna cables, the white and the black one, marked with the white and black triangle respectively, i.e. the main and AUX. Now before you replace the back cover and screws, it's a good idea to finish the installation and also test the card. I'm going to put the battery back, turn off the laptop, turn the computer back on, and if installed correctly, the WWAN card should be found in the device manager, which is this one, the Dell Wireless 5560 HSPA Plus Mini Card Network Adapter. However, the correct driver may not be installed automatically, indicated by a yellow exclamation mark. You can always try to update the driver by looking online automatically. If it works, you may need to reboot your laptop to finish properly installing it. If that doesn't work, in my case it did not at first, head over to Dell's official website, link below. Select the correct OS and version, here it's Windows 7 and 64-bit. The drivers will be under modem slash communications. You will need to download and install the first two files, number one, Dell Mobile Broadband Manager application, and number two, Dell Wireless 5560WWAN Mobile Broadband Driver and GPS Driver. This should be straightforward. After rebooting, the Vodafone network picked up straight away and I had to choose between five profiles on the SIM card. We went with contract and voila. It worked to the wise. Initially, I tried installing this single driver available for Windows 10 64-bit, which was already on the laptop. Unfortunately, I struggled to make it work. The driver would not install and the card would not be recognized by the laptop. I even tried a few third-party drivers, but no success. I remembered that Windows 10 is a big problem when it comes to support for many hardware for which the manufacturers have not or will not issue drivers. So I tried my luck with a fresh Windows 7 installation and voila, that one worked. It's possible it can also work with Windows 8, but I hate that OS, so no. Conclusion, Dell will probably not be updating or fixing that driver anytime soon for Windows 10, so there is no point waiting for it, it works fine with Windows 7. The client wants to keep Windows 10 and have Windows 7 as a dual boot on this laptop, so I guess you guys will be getting that tutorial in a future video. Stay tuned. Of course, if you need internet on the go on your laptop where you may not be able to access conventional Wi-Fi signals, there are other options to consider such as USB dongles, MiFi and tethering. Still, having a built-in slot for mobile broadband SIM card does reduce the need to carry around an extra piece of tech. One of the drawbacks, as you have seen, is that for this particular model, Windows 10 was not a viable OS due to incompatibility of the driver available for the WWAN card. Also, this laptop and this SIM card is limited to 3G speed only, but there are other models which may be offering 4G or LTE speed. Do your homework. And last but not least, should your laptop need repair, you will also be out of mobile internet until it's functional again, if it can be revived, that is. I would not advise buying a laptop with a SIM card slot to use as mobile broadband these days. But if you already have one, or if you are able to buy one for cheap, it can be quite handy. That's all for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And just to tell you that I am working on the long-awaited tutorials on the troubleshooting series for both desktops and laptops, coming soon. Consider subscribing and leave me a comment or question below on these various platforms. As always, it was a pleasure. This was Ash from Hilmai Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. So go ahead and unleash your true potential and be the best you can be. Until next time, peace out.